Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku o negai shimasu. And uh, yeah, I'm home. And it's been a couple of days since I've actually put up a video. Um, <laughs> Maze, what are you doing? You should see my cat. He's like, oh no, he came out of it. He was, I don't know. He, he was trying to go underneath the little stepper thing that we have, like the exercise thing. I don't know how the video is going to turn out because I'm looking like at myself in the viewfinder and I'm all red because of the light, but oh well. I just figured I would po or record by the fish tank because I haven't done so in a while. And uh, now that Caden's moving out, I don't know if this fish tank is staying or not, but we'll see. It's funny because the little square thing that goes around your head kind of is trying to follow the fish. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me because it is kind of loud. So, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys about how the convention went, uh, Annie Revo Winter. Um, I think it went very well, actually. We had a lot of people. Uh, 1,731, I think, was the amount. I think. Probably. Something around those. Oh, over a thousand people. And that's unbelievable. The, the venue was quite intimate, as I would say. I, won't, I hesitate to say small, because intimate is a much, much better word for it. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And everywhere I looked, people were having a good time. Um, I didn't personally see anybody having a bad time, or I, I'm not sure of anybody having uh, had not a lot of fun. Uh, all on our Facebook page, people were saying they enjoyed it, so that, that's wonderful. And uh, the panel rooms were actually well laid out. It was nice finding out about that uh, USB connector to a lot of the computers because they had Mac computers in there um, all connected to the uh, projectors and stuff ahead of time. So it was really nice, really easy for our tech team, uh, Tina and Rajan. So congratulations to you guys because honestly without a good tech team, you know, it's you never know what's going to happen. So. Tamara did fantastic with the games room as always. We had LAN gaming this time. Um, really popular. A lot of people really enjoyed it. The only panel that kind of, well, didn't have a lot of people was my own, uh, the Sailor Moon one that I did. Um, I had two people come to it, but mind you, it was one of the first panels. It was at 10 in the morning. And also, I there was at the time that the vendors opened. So when that happens, everybody's scrambling to get to the vendors and be the first ones to actually be able to get something. So I'm, I'm not too surprised by how that worked out. I'm not too upset. Um, and it's a niche, niche one, right? Uh, the registration opened at 9, so there was only an hour before that. And so, but still, it was, it was great. McDonald's was there. Um, they, they were giving away free coffees and free, free items from their McCafe menu. Uh, which is it's so nice to have, especially in the cold with the rain and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, it was chilly, but I know that we had it better than here in Kamloops. <laughs> As you saw my video when I returned and all that white shit everywhere. As it is, it's white shitting out right now, or trying to. It's like a little powdered white shit. So, we'll, I don't know. I, I hope I don't wake up in the morning to another winter wonder hell, because I have to open uh, I hate driving and it, I really do, it really sucks, but, um, all of our main events were just full, almost every room was filled to the broom, brim, and even maybe a little more than it should be, but at the same time, it, it just everything was so popular, which is so wonderful, um, Seiya stepped in and did a visual K and J music panel, which was great, the 404s drove all the way from Alberta in the white shit. And they made it here, and they made it home safely, so I'm so glad. Thank you guys so much if you're watching this. Thank you so much for coming out and for performing for us. It's always a blast. Always a great time. Um, and I I don't know how you guys could brave that. It was Tom, Byron, Richard, and um, Ryan uh, that made it out. So thank you guys very, very much for braving the elements. And I know you said, we're from Alberta, we're used to this, and yes, I'm from Alberta too, and I should be used to it, but I think I've had it too well in the past little bit. 
but I still hate white shit. So anyway, uh, Fighting Dreamers Productions was there as well, which was great as always. They they had the other panel that was started at ten, but theirs was more more filled. So that's okay. That's all right. Um, and they judged the cosplay contest for us as well. Cinderella won best costume. Uh, she had tendonitis, I believe, in her one hand, and she sewed the whole thing with one handed, which is amazing. <laughs> Um, the dance was great, the walk-off went very well, um, of course the 404 show, all of the panels, like really, everybody did such a good job, and uh, a lot of interest and stuff, there was the uh, weapons and, and armor making panel, uh, there was Kimono Kitsuke that Annika put on, um, so, and I know that, uh, that people enjoyed that one too, it shows you all the kimono, how to wear them properly, and, and really good informative slideshow with that. Uh, we had two similar ones, um, Con Etiquette and Surviving the Con. Uh, the Con Etiquette one replaced the Desu Dolls specific panel, but the Desu Dolls were part of it. Um, but it still went really well. Uh, there was the game show one that we had that went so insanely well. It was just packed in there. and. Name that tune, like Tamara ran that one too. Unbelievably full room. Win, lose, or draw, I was surprised, had a full room as well, and I ran that one. And I did it very similarly to the original win, lose, or draw. Um, so I had two teams of three people and uh, gave them cards. They had to try to draw out an anime name or a phrase if they could. And then I was running out of cards because I didn't think it would go that fast, but it did. So I had the audience help out by coming up with names and stuff, and I said, keep it PG, and some people were like submitting Yahweh and Boku no Pico and things like that, so yeah, um, not not very PG, so some people weren't listening. We gave away Pocky, because Pocky's lots of fun. We had certificates for the cosplay contest, they looked really good, Sydney did fantastic with that, so good job Sydney. He was so tired. Um, and running the maid cafe on top of doing marketing stuff, and oh boy, so, and oh, just everybody came together, it was, it really was a gigantic family thing, and our games room was in their cafeteria, so there was like snack machines, and drink machines, and uh, microwaves in there, what better place to have a gaming area, and, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun, and, and I think people really enjoyed it, and I'm so happy to hear that. And now, Planning is underway for Anime Revolution 3 Day in the summer, um, which is August 14th to the 16th this year, of course, uh, at the Vancouver Convention Center on the Canada Place side again, because it is, it's like a giant um, campus. Uh, there's the east side and the west side, and we're on the east side with Canada Place, west side is the other side, the newer one. The west side has like a green roof, kind of. Uh, there's grass and moss and stuff like that growing on it, so it's, it's really neat. But it also has terrifyingly tall and scary escalators. People that are afraid of heights? Yeah. So, I'm happy to be back. I got an extra day in Vancouver, so that was nice. Um, I had a lot of fun there, and then went, uh, my flight got delayed, but I got in at about 12.30, well, 1.30. I think we left the airport about 12.30. And they weren't sure if it was even going to go through. Um, I know Nanaimo and Penticton flights got cancelled. So, but it worked out for me. <laughs> anyway, but I just hope that it worked out for everybody else there too, because there's a lot of people that were just getting upset and frustrated with... But you know, holiday travel is like that. You never know what the winter is going to be like, and uh, all white shit everywhere. And I don't know. Anyways, I am going to be putting out videos again more frequently. I have some ideas, uh, something coming up here that's similar to the Does This Thing Taste Like Shit, but not quite the same. Um, oh, my apologies. Um, the Sailor Moon review is coming up as well. I just haven't had the time to do it yet, but uh, coming up soon, I'll do it for last week's episode. I know it's almost a week late. Ooh. Uh, the Sailor, or sorry, the radio show uh, comes back this Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. on 92.5 FM or www.dx.ca. So Japanese music at its best, so you'll want to check it out. Um, hopefully everything will be back up and running. The university has had a power outage in some of the buildings, like the Campus Activity Center. Um, 
the all the houses like house A, which is where our radio show radio station is housed, house nine, house ten, I think the horticultural one, and even scarier, the new student housing as well. So I don't know how that works because it's cold out, and oh, I hope they have heat. So that that's not a fun way to start the new semester with power being out and stuff like that. But what can you do? Anyways, I will, I've talked long enough, but Anime Revolution Winter was a success in my books, and I think on all our books, and thank you all for coming if you did happen to come out to it. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next year, I, I don't know. My next time in Vancouver will probably be April for Fan Expo. Um, hopefully I can get to go to that, and then Anime Revolution 2015 in the summer. So. Should be good. Should be fun. Should keep me busy on top of everything else. So, Jamatane Mina, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.